Hello and welcome to part 2 of week 3 of the Node.js course here at Hacker Future. So, uh, before we jump into uh, week 3 material, which will consist of uh, uh, using APIs and templating engines, I want to make a small digression and talk about something that we used last week but we did not really uh, discuss in more details. And that is something which is called a middleware. So let me quickly open here my the code that we used last week. So if you remember, we did this together. We wrote a library app, which was a very simple RESTful API app, which had four endpoints for, uh, sorry, which had one resource, which is books, and that then had four different requests for each of the operation. Now, at the top of the, the, the code, I told you to add this line, app.use express.json, and I told you that what this does is it takes the request and the, parses the JSON in it and then makes it available uh, as an attribute of the request so that we can then type, for example, request.body.name. Now, I want to spend some more time to explain how this actually works. So this uh, concept in, in Express at least is called middleware. And the way the middleware works, uh, that is declared by app.use. And the way the middleware works is basically whenever a request comes in from the client, it first goes through any middleware that is declared here before it gets to the request handler. So, in this case, when the request comes in, it first will pass through the middleware, which is called express.json, before it gets to our request handler. What, now, in, in our case, uh, what the middleware actually does depends on, on the type of middleware. Now, what I explained to you, this middleware it's not very complicated. It parses the JSON and then puts it as a variable. A middleware can do all kinds of interesting things. One really powerful, uh, and I'll give you a small visualization here. So you have the request which comes in, and then it's passed to whatever middleware we've declared, for example, express.json. Now what this middleware can do, it can do one of two things. It can either process the, the request and add some extra information to it or parse some information and then uh, add it to it or maybe log uh, information that this request has came in and all kinds of useful things like that and then pass on the request to the next middleware. This is what the express JSON does. It always just adds some information and then lets the request handler uh, take care of uh, handling the actual request. But there are also some middlewares where the middleware actually can handle already the, the request on its own. So the middleware takes in a request and then immediately sends out a response. And th this could be used in all kinds of ways. For example, if you want to cache something, you know, then before it gets to your request handler, if something is available in the cache, then you can immediately return it uh, using a middleware. I also said you could also maybe use it for a dedication so that every request that comes in that is not uh, does not have the re required authentication, you can immediately return uh, not authenticated 403, I believe, and so forth. So they're really powerful concept. Now we don't have a lot of time to, to cover them in more details, but it's good to, to understand this concept uh, on a high level to know that it's there. Because when you're going to work on the project, you will have uh, a lot more complicated setup than what we have uh, in, in the example. And you will need to make use of, of uh, these middlewares more. Uh, if you did the homework, you've probably came across another, another middleware that you needed to use, which is called uh, body parser. So body parser is a middleware which... Uh, is very similar to express.json in that it parses the body of the request and then makes it available uh, so that you can use it in the actual request handler. And the only difference is express.json 
uh, parses JSON, as the name says, and the body parsers parses a different format, which is called form data, which has a specific format how it looks like. And so the only difference between the two middlewares here is the type of format that they are actually parsing. So that's all I, I had to cover about middleware. There are a few links here that you can check out and you you can look at if you want to learn more. But for now, this is enough to continue with the with the rest of the of the course for today. See you in next part.